In this video, I'll show you how I load smokeless ammo for my 1887 Winchester 10 gauge that is black powder safe. And what I mean by that is it is safe to shoot in guns that were originally made for black powder. And trust me, I know this is a very controversial topic, but I generally do shoot black powder through this firearm, but it is nice to have the option to shoot smokeless if you feel like it. Now, before I get bombarded with a bunch of angry comments and hate mail about how this is super dangerous and going to destroy your gun, let me put the generic disclaimer on it. This is not load data. This is just some guy being around in his garage. If this in any way or shape or form makes you uncomfortable or you think it is dangerous, by all means, don't fucking do it. And with that... So the first thing you're going to need to do after you buy your brand new primed holes from wherever you buy them is they will be three and a half inch and you'll need to cut them down. And uh, I typically cut them down to 2.6, anywhere between 2.6 and 2.7. And uh, I mark that on my caliper and I just scribe it. And uh, then I take my knife and I just, you know, kind of easy does it, just cut it down to that scribe mark. And I haven't had any trouble with this. Uh, this has worked pretty well for me. You could buy, you know, hull trim and tools, and I've seen guys make their own tools, and all of that stuff works fine. But for me, just using my cheesy little knife here works fine. And uh, they roll crimp just fine. So after it's cut off, I just make sure that it's pretty flush, which it is. And uh, then I just double check it and make sure it's somewhere between 2.6 and 2.7. There you have 2.7. So after you get your shell trimmed up to 2 and 7 eighths, or 2.7 is what I like to trim them at. Now, if there's anybody out there watching this that can actually math, you might be thinking to yourself that 2 and 7 eighths is 2.875, and you would be correct. But I've found that they just don't need to be quite that long because I use a roll crimp. And so I cut them to 2.6, and that works pretty good, and it's actually closer to 2 and 5 eighths. If anybody cares. This is what I like to trim them at. 19 grains of red dot. PT 1044 10 gauge wad. Push. 20 gauge nitro card. Actually, it's supposed to be two. Two 20 gauge nitro cards. Ounce and an eighth, seven and a half shot. Ten gauge overshot card. Give it a push. And roll crank. Very good. Smokeless 10 gauge round that is safe to shoot in black powder firearms from the late 1800s. I got the information for this load from the guys on the Parker Brothers forum. And uh, these guys have these old shotguns that are Damascus barreled guns and these guys developed this load. And one guy even had it tested and the pressure rating for this load is 6,500 PSI, which is well under danger zone for black powder firearms. Now, with that being said, just because it works for me doesn't mean it's going to work for everybody else. It works great in my firearms, but it might make your firearm explode and make Hiroshima look like a small rifle primer. Therefore, I cannot recommend anyone under any circumstance, ever try this. This is my Winchester 1887 lever action shotgun in 10 gauge. It was made in 1889 and is a true black powder cartridge firearm. So we have some loaded with smokeless and we're gonna see how it goes. to 
me. This load is uh, very mild and it's pretty enjoyable to shoot. It's comparable to any standard trap load, 12 gauge, you know, an ounce or ounce and an eighth. And, uh, and that's pretty much all you're gonna be able to get out of a smokeless load in a firearm like this. And if you wanna start cranking it up and getting more punch or more pellets or higher, you know, heavier payload, then you need to use black powder because with black powder you can load 120 grains and two ounces a shot and it's a lot more versatile with the smokeless load you're pretty much relegated to exactly what it is it's 19 grains of red dot and an ounce and an eighth payload of your choosing i've used buckshot double odd Number four, seven and a half bird shot. Uh, I don't believe that makes a difference. The weight is the same. So there you have it, folks. The information is yours. Do with it what you will. Except complain or write me a nasty comment or be a bitch in general. Yeah, don't do that.